Morning all and welcome back. Uh, hope you had a good Easter. I hope you've had some form of a break uh, and you've spent some time uh, uh, trying to kind of relax and recuperate in these uh, interesting times, shall we say. Um, just a very quick one for me um, in terms of updating you of what you should be working on. So none of your deadlines are for today. Uh, we were kind enough to uh, make sure that didn't happen. Um, lower sick first. You need to make sure, please, that your game theory work is uh, done and up to date and ready to submit by the end of Wednesday. Uh, there will be a link uh, in the email that uh, this is attached to for you to uh, uh, to upload your work. If you remember, you were answering the questions on the different game theory um, uh, videos that Chris had put up. There's a couple of questions in in each video that you need to go through. There is one more that's due, so if you think you're done, uh, I think that's going to be uploaded tonight uh, by Chris. So just keep an eye out for that uh, and finish that one off, that last one. Um, but if you need a quick reminder, uh, let's swap screens. Uh, so there's Chris's channel, and it's the game theory one. So you've got um, A to E, I think. Yeah, you've got a couple of E's. There's two there, just to finish off. Um, and there's one more to come, remember. So make sure, please, that you're uploading those. Well, we said before just to do it in a presentation, a slide presentation, so PowerPoint or Google Slides, uh, and then upload it on the link that's in this email, uh, ready for the end of play Wednesday, please, so that we can see how you're getting on. Uh, you've also got your Max Core games that you're working on. A few of you have been emailing me questions about that. Um, we'll have a deadline for that, uh, for the first kind of uh, look of them, uh, however you've been working on that, for sometime next week. So if you can make sure that you're aiming towards that, uh, Chris and I are going to let you finish off your game theory stuff um, uh, this week. Make sure that you're working on the rest of your, your Max Core game, uh, however you're doing that for this week, and then there'll be a deadline, a submission time uh, for, for us to see how you're getting on with that next week. Um, and then hopefully we'll have uh, a bit more information on, on what we need to do in terms of uh, assessing you and finishing off uh, our units for this year and anything along those lines. So uh, nothing official yet yet but it is uh, imminent should we say from college so we will communicate that to you uh, as soon as we can all right uh, so uh, that's the lower sixth upper sixth you should be working on your unit five stuff so you've got uh, a video that I sent through to you a little while ago um, before Easter which was unit five and assignment two uh, if you remember it's in two parts part a uh, part b and part c you should have done part a already it was a very quick thing that you needed to upload um uh, before the easter two initial ideas of how you were going to answer the brief uh, on this video which i posted on my channel april the second there um you will find in the description uh, you've got a the google doc it's probably in the email that i sent to you as well uh, but the google got Google Doc that goes through everything. So there's part A, which you should have submitted already. Really simple, really quick. If you haven't done, then you're overdue. So you need to make sure that you submit that as soon as you possibly can, please, um, because it influences what you do with part B uh, and part C as well. OK, uh, so you've got details there of what you need to do. You've got templates as well, uh, which you can jump uh, across to and fill in. So all that you need for unit five and assignment uh, part uh, assignment 2 part b and c is there on this document in that video please make sure you're going through that you've got a bit of time on that still we don't want that until next thursday so um we've tried to kind of allow time so that you can kind of recuperate over easter a little bit uh but if you've been working on that fantastic uh, a few of you have been emailing me and saying that you've been quite enjoying kind of coming up with different ideas for that so that's really interesting to see what you've come up with and to see how you develop your ideas okay um uh, again when we've got a official word on how we are going to assess and complete your assessments for this year, uh, then we will communicate that to you as, as soon as we can, as soon as we're able to. Uh, I think kind of information for that is imminent. Um, but we haven't got anything official yet. As soon as we do, uh, like I've said before, we will get uh, something across to you. Right. And now to the um, title of this video, which was uh, a little bit of inspiration uh, for you. I wanted to give you a tour. You've seen behind my head and kind of whatever is on my drawing table at the time and uh, my unicorn that's over my shoulder. Um, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a tour of kind of the, the small box room that I'm in. Uh, and really it's a sense of 
trying to give you some inspiration and to realize that kind of in this crazy time there are loads of places where you can uh, get inspiration that you can get some uh, different ideas that you can get some ideas of what you can be working on that maybe is outside of of what we've been setting you as well to really kind of uh, develop your skills and uh, and to give you an idea of of how you might um, answer uh, answer the questions that we're posing come up with solutions to your game ideas uh, and find inspiration from other places so i'm going to give you a bit of a tour of of, of my place shall we say uh so i'll pause it as we go through all right so there's my setup one thing that i would say about my setup um is that it's not very powerful all right a few of you have been worried about how you can run um different things in terms of uh hang on a minute sorry my printer's just about to go so i've just turned it off so uh, it doesn't disturb us so if you've been worried about how you can set up uh different ways of um getting your software working uh getting it working i've got a very mid-spec uh, pc um and it's not very powerful at all but it can run everything it needs to run it can run blender it can run unity uh it can run stencil and all the other web, web apps so if you've managed to kind of upgrade your system uh, recently uh while we've been off if you've got uh access to a pc then then give it a go with unity and blender uh you may be surprised at how much you can run um blender especially you can run most things apart from the actual rendering of different things uh unity as well you can create as much as you like it's when it comes to playing the game sometimes that you might find that your frame rate drops and things like that but you can still practice and you can still develop different bits and pieces uh, especially really simple stuff that isn't using kind of uh, any decent models uh, and i've got you can see my mic there and different bits and pieces uh, as we go through um i mean if you can have two screens have two screens i mean why wouldn't you uh, it just makes life a lot easier um, but a little bit of inspiration so i i collect all manner of different bits and bobs uh, i might view and they kind of sit on these uh, shelves just in front of me uh, gaming related film related anything uh, but i like to kind of have them there it does give, give me a bit of a, a push in uh, in the right direction sometimes when i need a bit of inspiration if i need something to do do i will normally kind of pick one of these and draw it we've done some still life stuff before in the um uh in the concept art unit for the lower sift that you've done um uh, but it's always good to have stuff knocking around you'll see my kind of terrible choices in music and kind of a musical that i went to with my sister there and my love of rugby as we go through um but uh it's not just one shelf it's more shelf uh you've got to have a homage to your favorite game haven't you right but this is where i wanted you to start taking notes so i've got some artwork of different illustrators that i found and i like um from different places this is a guy uh called uh luke uh luke tobias i think his name is um i'll put the links of uh, their instagram pages in the description so that you can have a look uh and just a, a guy that i stumbled across when we went to a, a really little um comic-con uh, that was in upminster just in a church hall it was quite small um but it was on over one of the bank holidays last year and he was there um, showing some of his stuff um and i just really liked how he kind of mashed things together and mucked around and played different things so um i've got him up on my wall um one illustrator that i use i'm going to scan around the rooms is um uh, is matt roth uh, now I've got a, a, quite a few of his because I, I love his art style and I, I really kind of like the way that he uh, kind of draws his stuff and it puts his, uh, his stuff out so you'll see uh, a few more of his bits and pieces uh, as we go around the room um, but one thing I would say uh, is that he um, does a really interesting doodle club and he has a twitch channel um, which we'll have links to I'll, again I'll put his uh, Instagram in, in, the, in the description uh, where he goes through and he, he goes through kind of start to finish of some different ways that he illustrates that he draws and he plays around with things and there are a number of you that, uh, that kind of don't have as much passion about the drawing side of things as others um, but it is great to kind of watch and to get ideas and to look at how you can develop some of those ideas even if it's in a simple format uh, and just look at the way that illustrators work and how they how they pull their ideas from different sources um the doodle club that matt roth runs uh, they go to different museums and, and bits and pieces uh, and they kind of draw inspiration from there and it's really interesting looking at how that art style can run across different themes and different media uh, as we go through because we'll be looking at different genres and different games uh, that we'll be interested in and, and that we'll be developing as we go through um so i've got quite a few of his because I, I just love his work so um but looking at how different illustrators and different kind of pieces of uh, um kind of memorabilia and artwork and um uh, whatever it may be is around right so this is my setup so you saw the kind of cables running but um 
I've got a few old consoles, shall we say. So I've got, um, sorry, I'm looking over there because it's on that side of me. Um, I should be looking at the screen, apologies. Uh, but I've got, you know probably by now that I'm a PlayStation fanboy, so I've got all of my Playstations. Uh, I've got an N64 in there. Uh, that Xbox um, 360 is my first ever Xbox, which um, uh, I got from one of the guys in the faculty that I, I've got a few games for. Uh, but looking at different um, formats, looking at different uh, time periods of games, and if you are able to and uh, you can dust any old consoles off that you might have, your parents might have, anyone else, um, and just try different formats, try older games uh, and see uh, how the development of games has come through, but kind of play them, get your hands dirty, uh, rather than just watching them on YouTube, um, uh, and get the idea of how you can develop that and how you can uh, use some of that information as you're putting your games together all right um i mean there's far too many for me to be playing all at the same time but it's nice to to have them and to to dip in and out of them um so a couple more pieces of work um i cannot remember the name of that artist on that which one sorry i'll scrub back for that um but I just wanted to have this one in here. I've got one of these. Uh, um, my son picked up a few when we went to um, uh, EGX in September. And I know um, for the lowest if we didn't get there uh, to res this time around, um, hopefully the main EGX will be back on in September, October time so that we can go when you're in your upper sixth. Uh, and the upper sixth that went this year, you would have seen all of the illustrators that are, were knocking around there. Um, so uh, again, just a good place to get. And this is really simple. And I've kind of use this as a little bit of inspiration when we're looking at the backgrounds design that you've done uh, you've all done um, uh, the firewatch background uh, tutorial uh, at the start of this year and uh, the start of the kind of upper sixth lower sixth year when you did it as well and this is kind of where it doesn't have to be huge amounts of detail to get a mood across to get an idea across so the way that um, uh, this illustrator uses their colorways i think it really works well um and I've got a few art prints on there from different games. Uh, this guy, uh, Phil Buckingham, um, uh, again, was one of the illustrators of that little Comic-Con uh, that was locally. Uh, but I really love his art style and how he develops that kind of uh, older cartoons, Ninja Turtles on screen at the moment. But he's played around with different things uh, as you go through uh, and have a look at some of his work on his Instagram page, uh, which is really nice. Um, and just to finish off, uh, there's a little bit of uh, crafting that I did. So that is an actual controller. So that's an old PlayStation 3 controller that I had that didn't work anymore that I ripped apart. I found I saw this on Pinterest. Uh, again, a, a great place, um, um, if you haven't got a Pinterest profile, to, to find inspiration, to find um, different ideas of how you could do things. Um, so I broke this apart and I've stuck it on that board and that's kind of an open frame uh, that you can see. So it's a 3D piece that's on there. But... Um, I found that quite interesting just to, to see how things worked. And we've done a little bit, especially the opposite, we've done some uh, the hardware and software kind of unit that we did, but looking at how um, the stuff that we take for granted, the controllers that are in your hand, how all of that kind of works and comes together. Uh, and Chris has done some breakdowns with you and shared some sites with you uh, in the past of, of, of looking at different uh, consoles and different platforms as you break through, uh, as you go through and break them apart. Um, books, 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 books. Um, it's just a small piece of my selection down here. Um, you didn't see them all, but looking at these are some of the ones from uh, from college that you would have seen already. But whether it's typography, whether it's um, uh, essays and assignments on how games were made, uh, talking to developers and what have you. Uh, in this time, if you can find anything, if you've got um, recommendations that we should read, that we should look at, um, then please let us know, and we can post them and we can put them up so everyone can share uh, and go through. But you've got different bits and pieces on there. Uh, you've got uh, the answers to my family quiz that we did on Zoom the other day as well. Um, uh, a random lead draw. Everyone who is a gamer of any sort needs to have a random lead draw, uh, whether it's USB, whether it's kettle leads, whatever cables you might need, have a random lead draw. All right? If you don't have one, then start one now. Uh, that's years of work that I've developed. Uh, there's the fabled unicorn. And... This, I've just put this on here um, uh, because I have two spaces. So I have the space which you um, uh, see behind me, which is uh, on screen at the moment, uh, which is my drawing uh, kind of desk. And I try and keep that separate from my um, computer desk so that I can uh, spin around. And it's literally, I'm sitting in the middle of it so I can spin around on my chair and uh, work on one and work on the other. And I've got a very small amount of space. I'm in a box room in, in my house here. So there's, there's not much space in here, but 
just the way that that works and having slightly different workspaces for slightly different uh, medium that I might be working on really helps. Uh, and you might be able to do something similar or you might be able to have a corner of your room that is set up for one certain area uh, or kind of have a, uh, a movable kind of system where you can get a workbench or uh, kind of a board that you can uh, draw on and design on or, or whatever it might be uh, it definitely helps me it might help you uh, so I just wanted to have it in there uh, it's kind of a bit of line art that I've done on Streets of Rage 4 Streets of Rage 4 comes out on April the 30th very exciting uh, and then some more memorabilia on there so I have bits and pieces that my kids have done I have my Lego on there uh, and uh, shout out to my childhood um, uh, bear there that is as old as I am all but one year um, and I will let you try and remember how old I am and not tell you. All right, so that's just a little bit of inspiration of my room that I wanted to share with you. Um, I said to you that I will put um, the descriptions of the different artists and in the video, but just so that you see that they've got kind of Instagram uh, pages, each of them, so that you can go and have a bit of a nose uh, and look at some of the work that they've done uh, in different ways. Uh, like I say, kind of... Uh, Luke here kind of combines different uh, mediums and he combines different games together in some of his uh, in some of his work. Uh, Pixel Noise Studio was um, the stylized one that I've got. You've got loads of his stuff, uh, their stuff on there that you can have a look at. Uh, and Matt Roth, Matt Roth has got. Um, Lots of work on his Instagram, but have a look at his Twitch channel uh, and uh, jump onto his uh, Twitter or something like that, uh, and you'll see some of the work that he's done. Uh, as he's done tutorials as you've gone through so that might be of, of interest to you so just a little bit of inspiration uh, a little bit of an invite into my room uh, a bit of inspiration to you uh, to maybe look at different things that you maybe haven't explored and if you haven't done any uh, kind of drawing or uh, artwork since the concept um, unit then have a go it doesn't matter um, kind of how good or how bad it is just kind of give yourself a, a, a go at doodling and developing some ideas maybe use the for the lower sixth maybe use the max core um, idea as you go through for the upper sixth you've got your game ideas that you're working on that you can maybe play around with uh, and just kind of look at what ideas you can develop uh, and different things that you can come up with all right so you've got some inspiration from me there you've got some uh, of a quick recap of your units at the start of this video um, hopefully you're all well um, and we will update you on some other bits and pieces as we go through this week so please make sure that you are checking your emails please make sure that you're now checking them again twice a day once in the morning once in the afternoon so that you uh, don't miss anything from us uh, especially because we'll be able to communicate uh, some ideas of what's going on with your grades uh, fairly soon i would have suggested all right so hope you're all well uh, keep up to date uh, keep in contact and uh, we will uh, speak soon all right